Well, what are yeah. you? Are you gonna go to Arizona, or can you, or what? What do you think? We don't know yet. Maybe not. Yeah. I, I don't know if we should deal with the family at all. I don't know if the police are gonna let them know, or if yeah. they're just gonna leave it to Zoe to let people know, or she shouldn't even let anybody know. Yeah, I thought of that too. That maybe it'd be better if I just. I don't want Brandon to know. I want him to be in fear of Al the rest of his life. <laughs> well, he should be more in fear of him now than he ever has been. I'm yeah. sure he's number one on his list. Yeah, I just felt so much peace during <laughs> that blessing. <laughs> I felt so much peace during that blessing that like Al's like gonna be with Breezy and Braxton. And I'm gonna pause there at 2056. Let's start with, could you read into the record slide 51? Line 1177, from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Please check JJ. He just woke up saying crazy stuff and won't go back to sleep. He is talking to Blake. It's weird. Line 1175, from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. JJ is still JJ. I am told his spirit recognizes Blake is evil and is unsettled by him. Line 1172 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Hi, my love. How is JJ now? Line 1171 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. He's better. He was just up talking nonsense for like two hours last night. I'm sure they were bugging him. Is he at zero yet? I miss you. So turning to slide 52, could you please read slide 52 into the record? Line 1170 from Chad Daybell to Lori Ballow. Yes, he's at zero. He probably was partly through the veil, talking to people both light and dark. Line 1169 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Maybe he was talking to the real Blake. Line 1167, from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Yes, that was the real Blake. And uh, continuing on the conversation in line 53, at slide 53. Line 1165, from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Do you think there is a perfectly orchestrated plan to take the children? and we just have to wait for it to be carried out. Line 1164 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. I feel lost, like I should be doing something to help. Line 1161 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. There is a plan being orchestrated for the children. I was shown last night how it fit together, but it has been taken from my mind, of course. Line 2101. Text from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Mel knew. She called me. She felt the real Brighton last night and knew she was different. She was told I didn't want to tell her. She is taking well and knowing it is part of a big plan. She is amazing, although I'm still pretty upset over it. I love you. Trying to hang in there, missing your kisses. Now, between slide 31 and 32, why did you include these particular text communications in addition to um, checking on JJ and Tylee? Uh, why did you include these two uh, slides? I included them because of the references to JJ and then the other reference to Brighton, who is another of Melanie Boudreaux's children based on the content of that text, appears that Brighton has now been designated as being possessed by an entity. In this case, they're talking about um, Melanie Boudreaux's children. Um, Blake, was that one of Melanie Boudreaux's children? That's her son. Okay. Um, if you could please read those into the record, the, these text SMS messages from Lally Time into the record? Yes. Line 2487, from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. What's Blake's percentage? 
line 2486 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. He drew three crosses on the wall in his bedroom. We just finished painting over them. Line 2485 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Like he was marking it for the dark side to find him. Line 2482 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. Blake is at seven. Sigh, S I. I took my sword of light and sliced his aura vertically in several places. You should be able to now rip and burn it. Line 2481 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. I also decreased his pain tolerance to 1% and greatly increased his pain. His desire to depart is at 80%. Now, turning to a text communication on July 29th, 2019, um, do you see that on uh, slide 37? I do. Okay. Why did you include this text communication in your summary? I included it because of its references to causing pain to children. Okay. Can you please read those uh, the text communications into the records? Line 1877 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow. One question. Do you want me to cause pain yet to those two threes you're writing with? Line 1876 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell. Probably hold off on then till we arrive they will be mistake to deal with but I'll text you if they start acting up and we can zap them line 1875 from Lori Vallow to Chad Daybell miserable not mistake line 1872 from Chad Daybell to Lori Vallow sounds great yes if they are going to act up we'll at least give them a reason to scream. Now, um, on July 29th, um, was this the time, I think you had mentioned Lori Vallow was getting ready to take a trip? Yes. Okay. Who was she on that trip with? Melanie Boudreau and her children. Okay. Were Lori Vallow's children with her? I am not sure if Tylee was present, JJ was with her. Okay. And so when, um, there's a reference to the two threes you're writing with in context of the defendant's communications um, in her statements to Melanie Boudreau and her co-conspirator Chad Daybell who did you believe those two threes were? Objection is calling for speculation. Sustained. Um, did you review Lori Vallow's communications with Chad Daybell and L Melanie Boudreau about this trip to California? Yes. Okay. And in that uh, communication did you have a chance to learn who was riding in cars with her they took one car with Melanie Boudreaux's children and JJ again I'm not sure if Tylee was present okay and we've seen previous text communications um, referencing Blake or Brighton or JJ as being possessed correct we haven't seen communications yet regarding JJ being possessed, but yes to Brighton and Blake. Okay. And so did you have an opinion on who the threes were that were in the car in light of the communications? Brighton and Blake. Okay. Um, why did you include this particular text string in the communications uh, between Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow? The references to hurting children and giving them a reason to scream are relevant. 